perfect. Yeah, yes. Mira. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is Lalgul uh, from Afghanistan. Fantastic. Hi, Lalgul. How are you? I am and very Mira. well. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Very well from here. Gulmira, tell me. Cecilia, um, uh, I am uh, um, uh, here instead of uh, Jibek, uh, and the presentation is uh, uh, mine, but I uh, don't see uh, Kyrgyzstan in this group. Yeah, I think your Can colleagues I... are missing. I think they're a bit lost. Probably they're still in the plenary. So I was wondering, uh, while we start uh, organizing our work in this room, uh, let's wait and hope they will uh, be connecting because we actually were supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, over 10, over 10, 15 people and uh, we are few. So um, I guess what we can do is um, just uh, introduce each other quickly. I can see Nazgul joining the call. Excellent, uh, lovely, to, uh, great to see you here. And um, Grana as can well. Can I stay here? Can I stay here? Yes, I don't know if you can see my the, the PowerPoint I put here. Okay. Uh, yes, I, we can see it. Yeah, so Kyrgyzstan is not for this room, Gulmira. Kyrgyzstan in reality should go in the room four, unless you prefer to stay here and you can stay. Um, but uh, I think you are, you, let me double check. Is Let me double check if you are with me actually. Yeah, do think, uh, no, you're not here, but you're welcome to stay. We will be listening presentations from Afghanistan, Laos, PNG and Bangladesh. But uh, it doesn't mean that we have only country from um, the, those um, region. Uh, 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 sorry for uh, our presentation from Afghanistan. Well, be Dr. Said Mukaddes will be uh, present. Uh, he's not here in the chat yet. Uh, he will be. He will be. He joined. Uh, I don't know why he not here in the group. Uh, I will uh, contact with him uh, soon as he will be join us. Okay. So what we can do, I do not know if you can see the, my slide. Do you see the welcoming slide? Okay. I yes. Do you see? Yeah, okay, fantastic. Thank you, Mary. Um, so this is just to give you a sense. So today we are be listening up from Afghanistan, Laos, PNG and Bangladesh. So I just need to check if uh, uh, apart. Uh, so Tukta is here and ready for the presentation. I feel that um, I mean, we are missing um, from Afghanistan, PNG and Bangladesh, probably. Isn't it? Yes. While Tukta, you are fine with the, in giving the presentation. Yes, I think I, <laughs> I am quite ready for a presentation yes of Fantastic. course <laughs> and and if it's fine with you i will be asking you to share your screen uh, otherwise ah. i can do it if you want otherwise i do have the presentation you sent so i can do it for you as you prefer okay i i can share my own screen i can Perfect. share by myself and the idea yeah. here shall just, i start uh, yeah. now or we just wait for another let me double check uh, to see uh, the colleagues from uh, the three uh, other countries uh, if okay. uh, they can uh, join the call. The idea was okay. to have um, the presentation one after the other one, so five minutes each, and then have a round of uh, questions and discussions um, on our like on the elements that we found it most uh, interesting and triggering. So let me double check if, can, if I can find the colleagues from uh, Afghanistan and PNG and Bangladesh. And uh, I will come back in a moment. OK, thank you. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the plenary room uh, just a second. So uh, feel free to ch chit chat in the meantime. Uh, I <laughs> will be back in a moment. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. 
Hello? Hi, yes, this is group one. We're just waiting for Cecilia. She stepped out for a while to look for the other missing, our missing group mates. Uh, I'm back. Did you miss me? Yes, we did. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> I think uh, Said, you made it excellent. Welcome, and uh, we have a few more people. Patricia, welcome, and Niraj. Uh, I I feel that a few more people are going to join very soon. Um, what I can do, uh, if you if you are happy with, it, I will um, probably just give you a recap of what we are doing in this room. Uh, so. Uh, we are going to listen five minutes presentation. I would say let's start with Laos and then following Afghanistan, PNG and Bangladesh. I'm not sure if we have colleagues from PNG and Bangladesh yet. Uh, otherwise, I will um, ask Andy to find them. Um, and then after the five minutes presentation, so please keep an eye on the on the on the clock. Um, we can have a, a, a group discussion on the highlights we like it the most or any questions uh, we have related to uh, each other achievements. Uh, so I will um, stop sharing my screen and I will. Uh, yes, any questions? So, so, Celia, this is uh, this is uh, DS Akram. I've just joined your your room, but I have not uh, been part to your presentation. So <laughs> I think I joined later. I, I ah. couldn't get in. Then okay. you guided me and now I've joined Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So what my my just introduction and welcome to the room. I'm happy you made it. Is that the, we are going to listen to the presentation from Laos, Afghanistan in this order. Laos, Afghanistan, PNG and Bangladesh. Five minutes uh -huh. each. And then okay. please, while, uh, while listening, feel free to use the chat box to type here any questions, and, uh, and anything you would like to hear more from your colleagues. So then once we have finished to listen to these four presentations, we can go in a question and answers and discussion as a group to get more into, into the details. So have also an active uh, listening, typing down anything you would like to know more. I just, um, I think uh, uh, you should be able to, Tukta, you should be able to share your screen. Uh, and I'm yes. happy to pass you the ball. Yeah, excellent. Yes. Shall we start now? Yeah. Thank you. I, can, and, uh, I let's, cannot let's, see the screen. Now let's uh, wait for Tukta to make. Yeah, I think you are almost there and it should be up here in a moment and uh, I'll leave it to you. Just uh, I might um, come in if uh, we go over time. So I'll give you five minutes for this for now. Okay. And hopefully we'll have more time. 
Well, do everyone see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes. we can. Okay. okay. Thank you, Cecilia. And greeting from Laos. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Tukta. I am Sun CSA coordinator. So I am glad to have a chance to share you about um, Sun CSA Laos today. Well, I will start with the introduction about Sun CSA Laos. So Sun CSA Laos is established in 2014 with the aim to promote sustainable improvement in the nutrition status in Laos. Um, focusing on women and children during their first 1000 days of life. Well, the number of um, San CSA Laos, um, the members of San CSA Laos is increasing year by year from the established year in 2014 until 2015. There are seven, uh, sorry, 47 members and currently there are 75 members, including um, 27 INGOs, 40 NPA, and eight other similar organizations. Um, there are two secretary staffs and one advisor. Um, Sun CSA Laos is hosted by Plan International Laos. Um, the secretary slowly and office space rent and running costs are uh, provided by plan and advisor hiring is responded by um, save the children and sun csa laos has seven management committee members from four ingos and three npa and we have six focal provincial focal points who has the roles to um, represent Sun CSA and focal points of the province to cooperate with government and development partners in the in their area to to um, promote nutrition and highlight nutrition problems in the areas which should be recognized by concerned authorities. Next is about our strategy. This is um. 2016 to 2022 strategy, which is um, developed in a consultative process with NPA and other Lao civil society, um, INGOs and other nutrition sector stakeholders. The strategy focuses on five things such as um, capacity building, knowledge how, partnership broker, policy dialogue and management and governance. Um, other than email, we have other channels to sharing the information such as website, Facebook page, Facebook group and YouTube. Um, this is the link to access um, each one. So Next, we are going to talk about the overall achievements of Sun CSA in 2020. Here we choose um, two key achievements. The first one is increased our nutrition advocacy. So um, we want to show you the outcome of um, doing nutrition advocacy, which can explain on how it is achieved. Um, Sun CSA Laos has been um, advocating um, for in increased focus on a con conversion nutrition approach since 2016. And in 2018, we, we developed a nutrition advocacy strategy that include increased advocacy and cross-sectoral coordination. 
at the provincial and district level. Um, so far, we have six provincial focal points, which are two INGOs and two NPA. Um, well, a major advocacy event was realized in October 2020. Sun CSA support Army, one of our members, to organize a nutrition stakeholder learning workshop in the province. So it is very big workshop um, that there are over 100 staff working in the province, including um, 96 staff from provincial and district government in health, agriculture, and education department, as well as um, 32 staff of um, eight Lao CSOs and five INGOs. The workshop was chaired by the head of the um, Provincial Nutrition Committee and co-funded by Sun CSA organizations and focused on sharing costs cross-sectoral um, efforts from government and CSOs. So this is the example of the, um, um, this is the, the, the example photos of um, the advocacy events. And why we consider it is had, um, we consider it has a significance because this was the first provincial level nutrition focused learning event led by um, Lao NGO and it built significant credibility and respect for organization and the CSO sector overall. It also was one of the first to have nutrition stakeholders from across different sectors and departments, which was important achievement for the provincial government. Um, for our contribution, Sun CSA Laos developed an advocacy strategy and trained its member organizations on how to advocate for increased nutrition efforts at the sub-national level. And many members organization contribute to the event being funded and organized. Next is the second achievement, which is um, new normal skill sharing online. Um, Sun CSA held regular online skill sharing even during COVID travel restriction um, from April until August. This fortnightly event allowed staff from multiple organizations to share their latest nutrition information, skills, questions, and motivation. So there are 78 staff from um, 10 INGO and 15 Lao NGOs across nine provinces attend, um, uh, attend this online sharing session. And it has a significance because it's um, successful to share nutrition and COVID information even more than during normal times. And um, many staff from province could join and share information. And next one, which um, previously was not possible without travel and time. Um, and there is not many technical problems. So everyone, to, uh, everyone got to share their new ideas on how to work safety during COVID um, new no more. So, um, the Sun CSA contribute by hosting the online meeting on Zoom and support some members with um, phone card for their internet access. And Sun CSA allows we did some activities to support 
um, a nutrition cannot wait campaign. So uh, let's go to the detail for this. So we support the Ministry of Health World Breastfeeding Week celebration. Um, in to cut, their to cut, yes. Uh, just yes. maybe just one moment, one minute, and then we, yeah. Okay, okay. We we'll try to um, finish yeah. earlier. Okay. So we 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 do lots of activity here, um, especially for um. Um, World Breastfeeding Week celebration with um government, and we create a video um um um, um to launch in our, our 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 Facebook page, and we produce fact sheet on breastfeeding during COVID to distribute to um nationally, and other training during uh, this time, and we will continue to um contribute to um this campaign to um, website or and our and other social media channels. This is the example um, activity that I just mentioned. Yes. So um let's see the um um the 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 success. So if think about the biggest achievement of, of of us, we are very proud and successful in influencing the the development of um the the decree on BMS code. Um, so this is was signed in law in um January twenty twenty with um with planning for um uh, full run I'll be in developed in 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 twenty twenty. And for the challenge, last slide. So, um, well, we have many achievements and successful, but um, also have the challenges working as alliance. So here we would like to share you our, our one biggest challenge is engaging our member. So engaging our member organization to achieve the network is so difficult, not so easy and some do not receive the information, staff have limited time to participate and coordinate. Language barrier exists between Lao and English speaking staff and um, 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 making um, meeting documentation and communication more time consuming. So to, to engage all these members to be more involved, um, we have um, we we use online platform to allow staff from um, the province to join and share information. And another thing, we use our San CSA website and other social media channel to help um, members to access the information that we would like to share. And we boost Facebook posts and help a competition online. And the last one, we 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 help more multi stakeholder events. For example, AGM provincial stakeholder learning workshop. Yeah, something like that. So um, that's all for my presentation. And um, any question or comment from you are welcome. And yeah, thank you. This was fantastic. Thanks a lot, Dukta. And I wonder if colleagues, you guys have um, burning questions. We can. Uh, uh, I wonder if you can start typing them in the in the chat box. Um, and then maybe so you don't forget them or I hope uh, you have them in your notebook like me. So do not forget uh, this fantastic presentation and any additional uh, discussion you would like to have uh, with the colleagues from Lao. Uh, and now I would uh, pass the ball if um, Tukta you uh, can uh, give me the um, chance to utilize uh, the screen, the sharing screen. Um, so if you can disconnect yours. I will pass the ball to Said uh, to listen to um, Afghanistan presentation. So please, please, please take your notes of the elements you like the most uh, or any question you would like to follow up with the colleagues from Laos. 
So then we can go back and have a very rich, full uh, discussions at the end of um, um, the presentations. Um, excellent, Saida. I do see you already ready. So if you just can keep an eye on the time, in theory, it would be like around five minutes each um, to let us have this uh, fantastic experience in walking through Afghanistan civil society achievements and challenges. Thank you very much, Cecilia. And uh, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. My name is Saeed Mukaddes. You can simply call me Saeed, and I'm the co-chair for Afghanistan Civil Society Alliance for Food Security and Nutrition. Uh, can everybody hear me? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. yes. loud and clear. Oh, okay. okay, thank you. So uh, our alliance was established back in July uh, 2018. Currently, we have uh, six members in our steering committee. And uh, based on the MOU uh, signed, we have 56 organization with us. Other than that, we have 82 organization registered. They also take part in our meetings, but uh, they haven't yet signed the MOU. So we are in the process of signing the MOUs with them. And uh, because the this presentation is about uh, the year 2020 so i'll be presenting the things that we did in the year 2020 almost so we have four subnational level groups and i'll be talking more about it in the next slide uh, we haven't yet completely developed our strategic plan so we have a tier terms of reference and we develop our yearly work plan from that uh, we recently developed our uh, website and, and we will be keep uh, enriching this website. Our Facebook page is very active and it's managed by the unit of the ACSA FSN. So that was a quick information about the Afghanistan Civil Society Alliance. Now, what were our two biggest achievements in 2021 was that we expanded to the eastern, western, southern and northern region. Uh, of Afghanistan and in central region, which is uh, Kabul and the provinces uh, around. So the central region is mainly managed by the main office of the ACSFSN and the eastern region, western region, they have their own offices. And we elected the chair and co-chair for the regional offices and they have started their work. We also conducted and introduced about the Sun CSA, how do they work and how the CSA should work. We also provide many trainings to them and many workshops were done. And then we also uh, created a concept note of where we are going to start our advocacy and awareness work. So right in 2000, early 2020, uh, our uh, the member of the civil society, both local uh, organization and interna international organization came in Afghanistan and uh, were in Kabul, Afghanistan, and we figure out that stunting and anemia would be the Thing that we would be educating for this year, so we we'll, we'll start. We are going to start our uh, school-based uh, initiative on good advocacy and awareness, and it's a very good concept. Note that I do that we develop sharing the story soon. So, what was the other uh, achievement that we did was that uh, in our regional uh, subnational level, the subnational team and the team from Kabul they persuaded and they. Uh, influenced and advocated for the uh, review of the budget from the uh, Kandahar provincial government and they reassured and they uh, asked us to review the budget and uh, do the budget analysis for the uh, nutrition and they said that we will do the required adjustment and they will uh, dedicate funds to the uh, this this kind of projects so uh, more will come on this one who are the stakeholders that are mainly involved with us is the CSO members, both regionally and nationally. The Afghanistan Food Security and uh, National Agenda team, both uh, nationally and uh, subnational level. And there are other representatives from the government agency. We have youth and the private sector also as a part of our members. So the significance of creating the subnational uh, level is obviously that they will create a momentum and generate evidence for the support of changes at the national level. So since we have recently formed these uh, these uh, subnational uh, uh, groups, they will be starting to develop the uh, do the advocacy work there. 
and their contribution uh, both at the subnational and national level will be to do the advocacy and provide implementation and facilitation support to the ACSAFSN in Afghanistan. So these are the two pictures and uh, you can see the Kandahar governor is sitting right next to the uh, next to the screen uh, projector screen. He's uh, he's giving us some commitment. He talked. He have talked a lot. I think we will be sharing the success story with the Sun CSA and with the rest of the ACG members. And the other picture is uh, I, 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 want, I, I will be sharing a link from the Google Drive where you can access the videos uh, along with the with the pictures. Uh, from our event, uh, past events in 2020. So due to COVID, we have another picture from our Eastern Region office. The members have came together and they were uh, discussing about the, uh, the, the the advocacy work. And um, this was also that we they, we, we, we the, 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 uh, the, uh, the they would do the advocacy work. So we have done a lot of uh, nutrition can uh, campaign activities. You can look at our Facebook page. Apart from looking at our uh, face, Facebook page, uh, I have given the Google Drive access uh, to all of you. I'll give you the Google Drive access where you can look at our campaigns and uh, advocacy and awareness campaign that we did on media and uh, physically, both nationally, internationally, and through famous television channels. So you can access th those videos through the Google Drive. And we also have shared some videos from our nutrition champion this year who advocated for the cause. And uh, one uh, of the challenges here uh, that we had was that uh, our campaign for uh, when we were doing the campaign was that we were the challenge is a bit difficult to uh, the, the thing that we had difficulty was that we had a bit difficulty in uh, in measuring the measuring the impact uh, of the campaign uh, that we did. So we are looking uh, more into this that how can we actually measure the impact? This is one thing that uh, we are looking now because we have been doing a lot of campaigns and awareness. So measuring impact is critical for us. So we also have released a press release to the media on the World of Food Hunger Day on, on the Nutrition Can Wait. So you can access those documents on our Facebook page and as well as on the Google Drive. One uh, example of the biggest achievement this year was that we reviewed the strategic and other national related government plans for the first time by the civil societies organization in Afghanistan. So you can see um, you can see me here somewhere. Uh, so this was the meeting that uh, the civil society were reviewing the national plans uh, in Afghanistan related to the nutrition. So what was the biggest challenge for us? The biggest challenge is like uh, the, the inability for of the alliance to manage the lower participation of the civil societies, particularly at the subnational level. So active participation of the member can uh, definitely exhibit a significant power and influence. And how do we overcome it is actually through our networking that we encourage them and tell them to be a part of this network and it can benefit them and uh, and their societies and it be and we also extend support for fundraising we also motivate them through other means to the, to be a part of this kind of uh, um, meeting and to support the uh, us at the subnational level so long term solution is that acsa probably requires the core funding and sustainability is a as an issue and uh, one thing good about Afghanistan is that the government is very supported both at the national and the subnational level. So last year in the Cambodia we had I had I had this uh, uh, request and I shared my lesson learned to the uh, Afghanistan food security and nutrition agenda and to other members and colleagues and one of the recommendation on that was on the knowledge management and I think this initiative have, have, uh, has been started somehow by the Sun uh, Movement and uh, Save the Children UK probably. And uh, there was another recommendation that there should be some kind of mentorship for the newly established CSA. I think the TA program has been very effective that the globally uh, that has been started. So similarly on the sustainability, I think this should be taken as case by case for every country. So in Afghanistan, the government is ready to provide any kind of support. So I will be looking forward this year for 
uh, to take uh, the support of TA to help us develop certain documents where can where the government may help us for the core funding or even the government has now allowed the non-profit organizations like the civil societies to do some kind of economic activity to sustain themselves. So this new law passed is a very good uh, in, uh, good thing for all the uh, civil societies in Afghanistan so that they are able to sustain themselves and they could provide their services to the um, uh, to provide the advocacy to do the research and do the advocacy globally and nationally and globally. So this is the picture of the member of the last meeting at the with the member of the uh, member CSOs from Kabul uh, city of Afghanistan at the central rail level. So this one was the meeting. Thank you very much. Over to you, uh, Cecilia. This was excellent. Thanks a lot, Saeed. Uh, really interesting and um, and and diverse. So excellent uh, insights. Excuse um, me. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 can you give the good example today? Uh, celebration of the third absin agenda uh, anniversary. Uh, uh, please, Dr. Mukaddas, uh, give, give the uh, update of uh, this. Uh, what support uh, by the government, our rule in the uh, national level, uh, uh, logistic level, or uh, policy level, uh, uh, give that example to Dr. Makadas. Yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, Cecilia. Mr. Lal is the chair of the ACSAFSN, and he also wants me to tell you about the today's, uh, today's activity that we did at the Afsin uh, third anniversary, where it was joined by the um, deputy, uh, the deputy, uh, the second, pre uh, I mean, the, the, the from people from the office of the president, uh, the vice presidents, and including the minister from the uh, Ministry of Agriculture, Health, and other ministries. And we um, did the advocacy and uh, we raised our concerns and voices, and we also encouraged them to provide space for the civil society and uh, uh, requested them to allow us to present at the Geneva conference that is coming up and we also uh, highlighted some key issues that needs to be addressed at the Geneva conference. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, Lalgul for complimenting and Said as well. Uh, fantastic and just um, in the interest of time just want to um, see if colleagues from uh, Bangladesh and PNG managed to um, access uh, this uh, platform um, to find out if and if they are uh, keen to present. I'm not sure because I don't see any colleagues from um, PNG and Bangladesh. I do see colleagues from um, uh, other countries like Philippines. Um, so we are we're support. I do not know, Mary, if you were uh, thinking to present. In case if you want, you can take the time for it. Um, uh, or any colleagues from other countries that are joining, uh, from Indonesia as well, joining this call. If you are, if you want to uh, present, since uh, two colleagues from uh, um, uh, the from uh, PNG and Bangladesh did not join, feel free. Um, I'm not sure you. Uh, would you like to present uh, your achievements? I do have the slides with me, or you would like to um, just uh, get more information and insights from the presenters we had so far? And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with presenting briefly, uh, but Sounds uh, good. yeah, okay. Because we do still have a little bit of time, so I'm, I'm really keen to hear more from other countries as well. Um, and that will enrich our discussion. So, Mary, um, happy to give you the space. Do you have your presentation, or you would like me to share the screen? Uh, if you have it, uh, could you please share the screen? Let's share your screen. I do have it. I hope it's the last one. And um, from Indonesia, colleagues, would you like to after after Mary? Uh, would you like to present, or we can after this jump into the discussions mode? And please accept my apologies if there are other other countries that I didn't um, uh, mention them. Any because I might not um, have uh, uh, see all the participants properly. Um, so Patricia and our colleagues from other CSAs, would you like to present after this? We have one more space, and then uh, we can uh, initiate our internal discussion. 
I think Patricia is on hold, so she's not around. Okay, so we'll, let's uh, let's do this. Mary, I'll pass you. I'll I'll, uh, I'll share. The, the sorry, screen. sorry, Cecilia, were yeah. you talking to me? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <you're> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm I'm listening to you, but doing something else also. Uh, no, I don't have a presentation. Uh, uh, so so sorry. I I, I will will join the discussion. Fantastic. Not a problem at all. Okay. Um, I just wonder, was wondering because we have a little bit of time, so uh, but uh, let's use this time to have a very full discussion among us. So just uh, uh, hold on again with uh, your questions for uh, Afghanistan team and uh, with Lau, please take your notes and then uh, let me let me open the presentation from Philippines and share my screen because I'm really looking forward to. Let me see where is the app. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have too many elements open here. <laughs> nope. Sorry, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I don't know why it's not giving me the screen. Do you want me to? I think I'm sharing yeah. a wrong, the wrong screen. Just one more moment because no. I. Do you see my screen? Yes. That's uh, the wrong one. Let us post it. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> the wrong one. Teams is a horrible nightmare. So I'm sorry for this. <laughs> I don't know why it's not updating um, the different uh, elements and now it's uh, blocked. So just give me a second. Sure. Mm -mm -mm. I will use uh, possibly I will use the. I will use the. Um, Google Doc, let's see. Apologize for the. There, my screen. I hope you can see now the presentation. Uh, yes. Okay. Is uploading. Okay. And I'll go on presenter mode so it becomes a little bit bigger. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Cecilia. Um, good morning, evening, afternoon, everyone. So the Sun CSA Philippines. Uh, is a bit younger than others. We were established in 2017. I'll just wait for the next slide. Uh, you still, you don't, do you see about CSA? Yes, but okay. it's still on, it's not yet on presenter mode in my screen. Ah, okay. Maybe it takes it's a lag, yeah. I don't know about the others are there. Uh, okay, so yes, uh, we were established in 2017, and we're still composed of uh, 13 organizations, both INGOs and national local NGOs. Uh, San CSA Philippines is hosted by Phil Canner, the Philippine Coalition of Advocates for Nutrition, which also um, sits as the steering committee. Uh, we've uh, in 28 around 2018 we tried to set up subnational groups, but we haven't been successful yet in forming subnational groups. Our current strategic plan ends this year, and by early next year, we will uh, update it and align it with Sun 3.0. Um, our Facebook page is uh, here is on the slide, and um, we also have a Twitter handle. Uh, next, please. So for 
2020, actually, our greatest achievement was have holding a first general assembly. Uh, we've had consultative meetings in the past years, um, but in March, right before, just um, less than two weeks before, the the largest island went on lockdown. We had our first general assembly, and it was attended by 110 delegates representing 55 civil society organizations. So we um, that um, activity was also envisioned um, to help the expansion of San CSA Philippines because we invited uh, 50 other civil society organizations who attended the assembly to join as members of San CSA. Uh, some of them we've received around um, 12 to 15 uh, applications, but we haven't formalized yet um, the, the, their membership. So actually I'd like to hear more from Laos and um, Afghanistan on their experience in expanding membership. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, next slide just shows, shows the picture of the, the those who attended the General Assembly. Okay, next. Okay, for another another achievement is uh, we were the um, we got some funds from the Sun Pooled Fund, uh, more on nutrition sensitive interventions. So the the, the lead implementing partners listed here are members of Philcan and San CSAPH who participated in the Sun Pooled Fund project on on nutrition sensitive interventions. So there were some uh, in different provinces of the Philippines from Northern Central, Northern and Central Philippines. Um, we've worked with the local government units in uh, providing technical support to the local nutrition councils and uh, help them in coming up with their local nutrition action plans. Uh, next, please. There. So here's a picture of um, the people from the local government unit working on the local nutrition action plan. Yeah, okay, so for the subnational level, we're able to develop also video case stories uh, of their project implementation. One of the challenge, oh, the challenge is the, um, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. The challenge is just the the dissemination of messages on the social media platform because only one organization that administers a social media platform, mm -hmm. and maybe the others can also share how they how the other members of their alliance um, help in disseminating uh, videos through the through social media platforms. Next. Uh, there. So uh, another success in August 2020 is that we documented how the CSA contributes to the COVID-19 response activities. So uh, um, with particular mention of seven individual CSA orgs all over the Philippines that submitted information. So uh, they provided support for families, uh, health workers also, and communities. Yeah, next there. So this is the, the info, infographic of the COVID response. Next. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. So the challenges, uh, I, I think this is um, common to many of our CSAs. Uh, funding is a main challenge. Uh, we were able to access funds as San CSA Philippines through partnership with UNICEF and then more recently through the Sun Pooled Fund. Um, however, since the end of the Pooled Fund project, the alliance coordination has been left open once again. So we're still looking for additional grant funding to support and sustain the activities of the alliance. Uh, is that the last? Oh, yeah. So that's yes. the last slide. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, Marianne. That was a really um, brief but short to the point. So really interesting. And um, let me stop sharing my screen and open up for discussions and questions for everyone. 
um, to hear. Uh, yes, so please do open your microphone and uh, type uh, and share any question you would like. Otherwise, I can also bring back one of the points uh, that uh, Mary put in her presentation. Uh, two questions to uh, our colleagues. Um, and feel free to use the hand if you want to answer. Is one is about expansion of membership. So how did you deal with it, especially at all levels? I wonder if it's a subnational level you were mainly interested as well. And uh, and then the other one is how you manage uh, social media, especially for campaigning in that sense. So that were two questions from Mary to the others. And then uh, please um, do add here uh, the other questions and answer. Uh, to the ones um, Mary put here. So open your microphone and I wonder if any colleagues from uh, yeah, um, Afghanistan and Laos would like to tackle the two questions that have been shared just now. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, Can I start? Sure, of course. Of course. Yeah. That's for us, our so time. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I'll, I'll take uh, the, uh, the first question. I missed the second question, but I'll, uh, I'll answer both. The first question on how did we expand it to the subnational level was that in Afghanistan, we have these coordination bodies. For example, we have the uh, NGOs coordination bodies. Then we have the Afghanistan Women's Network. This is like another a uh, big network that connects the wo the active women who are working in the in the various different fields and then we choose among the list those who are in, uh, those who work in the food security and the nutrition sector and thirdly we have the youth group fourthly we have the afghanistan food security and uh, uh, um, uh, food security and nutrition agenda that ha that also have members and their coordinators are across the regions so we connect with these uh, people and then we have identified a list of uh, organizations that are working at the subnational level so our team then connects with these people and talk to these people and then we discuss and explain the whole program and after that then we do the mapping based on their profile based on their activities based on their funds we look at their funds their activities uh, how long they had been whether they are from the local place so we do all these things and we also have shuras uh, not to be left and we also have the community development councils so we look at all these and select these members and based on the when we select these members and then we explain the program and then we have an, an mou that is agreed where the commitments of bo both ends are communicated with them and uh, if they agree with the MOU, uh, then we signed it and that's how we just start our work. So, so far, what we have done is that we have the identified, then we have mapped them and then, and then we have provided the training, the work required workshop. And after that, we also conducted the uh, a transparent, uh, through a fair and transparent process, we did the election and we selected the chair and the co-chair. And meanwhile, we have developed some kind of the governance related documents and other documents that we are sharing them, the advocacy toolkits and the strategies we are sharing them. And then we'll be following and expecting that um, what they need to do for us. So initially we are since we have been established in July 2018. So these things, there are there are challenges for us, that, but we will be overcoming these challenges. The good thing is that we know what are our problems. So it will take for, uh, time for us to to establish uh, ourselves well. Thank you. If you still have any question related to the subnational level establishment, I'm welcome. And my apologies that I missed your other question. If you can explain, uh, if you can tell me, then I may be able to answer it. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, Said. And that was perfect. Uh, very interesting. And uh, yeah, I just did type uh, in the second box, uh, uh, in the chat box, uh, the second question. Maybe in this case, uh, we can ask uh, Mary if she wants to input on that. Uh, this is about, or feel free to also add any additional um, highlights from uh, the first question as well from um, um, 
uh, sorry, from uh, for Tukta from uh, uh, Lao. Uh, the second question is, uh, since you also have been engaged in excellent campaigning, so how did you manage to engage uh, effectively social media, having like members also engaging on social media uh, to further expand and disseminate and, and uh, reach out on that? And then feel free, Tukta, to share anything, any allies on membership uh, expansion as well. Okay, thank you for the question. Well, I will try to um, <laughs> carry, uh, make a clarification as much as I can. <laughs> uh, sorry if I, I can um, if I can answer you very clearly, but I, I want to share you um, um, actually um, doing the campaign um, through Facebook. Um, I mean. It's not it's not too too easy like I mentioned um, engaging um, engaging all member to get involved to 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 the um, networks activity is not too easy. Um, for example, um, when we do when we, um, we 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 try to produce a video to to use for a. Um, World Breastfeeding Week um, celebration, World Breastfeeding Week campaign. So it's not too easy. <laughs> so, you know, um, when when we um, um, ask the members to 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 um, to provide um, to provide us um, uh, a a video recording or sharing uh, this information to their staff, to their friend, to their uh, another network to 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 um, collect uh, the video recording for us. So um, we we have to um, to to try very hard to 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 get the video um, uh, from them. Um, yeah. I think this uh, this problem is not um, happen only only in 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 one country, but I think this the this um the the, the problem that happened with with all of us, and yeah um another another challenge is we 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 have only two staff. Um, 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 in in secretariat team, so and, and with lots of work, so it's very very hard to 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 manage the time to share um, the time for um, doing work on Facebooks. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I mean, so we 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 try to have a how to say, we create a communication plan. Um, this one is is uh, explain on on um, how 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 do we um, manage how 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 do we work on um, communication work. So we we try to priority the 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 work that we have to do um, for for um, each thing it um, each campaign. So. Uh, and we we try to follow with with the plan that um mentioned in there and um we yeah something like that sorry if i cannot yeah. answer your question very clear thank you Tukta, and i think it was uh, actually excellent i mean uh, as you were saying it, um having a strategy uh, well thought through at the beginning and knowing your members, finding out what is the best way for them to engage. I do see La, uh, Lalgul um, hands uh, yeah. raised. Yes, uh, Cecilia, I have an uh, opinion and suggestion uh, yeah. uh, regarding the uh, sensibility and uh, more active rule of the civil society in lines uh, and country level. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, uh, I give my uh, our example. Not I don't know about the other countries or city alliances. Uh, we have a good uh, access uh, in approach uh, to uh, to to the media and picture and uh, uh, and uh, uh, other uh, printed media and uh, national and international media. Uh, 
And also we have uh, good uh, access uh, and approach to the government uh, part. We can use uh, uh, the media for the public awareness uh, and uh, advocacy. Uh, and which are our uh, main uh, activities and goal and objectives. Uh, and similarly, we have uh, good access uh, to the government uh, uh, high level, like from presidential palace uh, to the ministry, to the absin agenda and secretariat uh, and ATC. Uh, we can uh, uh, we can do uh, advocacy and uh, uh, other uh, uh, strategic level and policy level work with uh, them. Also, we have uh, good access and approach to the parliament here, and uh, which uh, legislation level is uh, very important for us. Uh, uh, because uh, we, we don't have uh, uh, any uh, specific law about the food security and nutrition yet. Uh, and also, there is nothing uh, in our constitution, the rights of food, anything uh, in, in other uh, uh, different law, uh, which already in the, in the country. Uh, but the problem is that uh, uh, there is no directly uh, like like similar Mari from Philippines also uh, has a question or uh, concern, and also my colleagues uh, Dr. Syed also uh, mentioned has, has a presentation uh, for the core fund. Directly, there is no any uh, fund uh, core fund to support the uh, alliance secretary, because if we have good opportunity and good access and approaching, uh, but we we do not have. Uh, and a very uh, successfully expert uh, in the different uh, area up uh, like uh, nutrition, like legislation, like policy level to work with the government. Uh, my suggestion is that uh, if there is uh, your work with the uh, donor uh, consortium, consortium and uh, alliances, uh, I think uh, if there will be uh, uh, specific support for the uh, uh, alliance uh, secretariat, like core fund for from two to five years, uh, we, we can do more much uh, uh, achievement uh, very successfully. That is my specific uh, uh, request and opinion uh, regarding the sensitivity of the uh, uh, alliance uh, secretariat and uh, more good achievement regarding the food and food nutrition. Yeah, totally got your point. Um, it makes sense. I think it's quite interesting the element about um, indeed need for kind of a hard uh, funding for at least the Secretariat of Alliances. You kind of expect that everyone uh, works for free. <laughs> um, I think there are positive uh, um, experiences from countries that have been able to uh, merge funding from among projects with a membership contribution sometimes. Um, so sometimes you have funding up to a moment and then there is a break and other funding comes in. So I think there were some elements we have to uh, build on. Uh, happy to pass the ball to uh, uh, the next question. I do see uh, the hands of uh, uh, Dr. Sakam uh, also uh, raised. Um, one question about the use of media, I was wondering, because I think you are all also using media uh, you know your own countries i wonder that that's quite powerful and still uh, loads of training for media is always often going on maybe it could be an opportunity to see if some media might uh, be interested in a meeting across countries that could be also a way to foster uh, that type of insights and and power but that's just a question i'm putting there for thoughts and i'll pass the ball to the colleague uh, that wanted to ask questions or share any highlights uh, this is D.S. Akram. Uh, can I ask a question? I can't Please. raise my hand for some reason. Please. I did see your okay. hand up and now it's back. Oh, down. you did? Okay. okay. Go ahead. Right. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So, um, my, uh, it's more of a comment or maybe a question also. Uh, from the presentations, what I made out that I must congratulate uh, the, the three countries on such a... a a lot of activities and campaigning um, with uh, with the, the legislators and parliamentarians. But to me, it seemed more like outputs uh, of your strategy rather than outcomes. Now, what I mean by that is that the reason we are doing all this advocacy is to uh, bring about a change in nutrition policies, nutrition strategies that the government has, uh, and, and actually um, 
a change in in the accessibility to food etc for 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 uh, the community now um, has anybody measured the outcomes for instance we have a breastfeeding legislation in pakistan but the implementation of the legislation is very poor so um, if we are doing advocacy we should be actually also measuring that if we have been able to bring about a breastfeeding legislation uh, how can we get it implemented my experience has been that our parliamentarians come to our meetings have tea uh, talk very well and then they go home and forget about us so so can anybody enlighten me uh, if they have measured any outcomes any any specific outcomes of the advocacy that that uh, they've been doing thanks Thank you. Um, anyone would like to answer this um, from their own perspective, on um, focusing on what what they did uh, measure and uh, at least um, um, observe as a concrete change um, as a result of advocacy work. It means as a concrete change, maybe a legislation. I think Dr. Said um, um, mentioned about uh, the um, work on the budget analysis. And, cha and revision at subnational level that has been then taken on by local authorities, which was great. I think that's quite an important uh, result. Um, but also, so in any type of change in terms of, yes, legislation, or perhaps, uh, I believe, sometimes advocacy also lead a lot of behavior change that then leads into products as well. So anyone had uh, this type of um, analysis so far in uh, some of the action you've been um, um, undertaking in terms of advocacy. Uh, thank you so much, Cecilia. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So let me get the, the last question as well because I, I, I missed that one and I wanted to uh, quickly talk about that one. And I'll also take the question from Pakistan since they, um, since she asked me uh, Afghanistan this question. So I'll also go through that question as well. On the, on the. Uh, how we do things on the social media and uh, uh, is that uh, the CSA work is usually actually is about research and then the advocacy. So we have understood this reality and uh, as Mr. Lals have said that we have uh, focused on this one to have good connections with the media. And in our last meeting we had been discussing on how to get times in some of the prime TV for free. We don't pay them for these kind of uh, so you can I have given the access on our Google Drive. You can access those dr the drive and we have been on the national TVs on the international TV for free. So this is something that we have realized the importance on social media. For example, on the World Food Day, we have uh, released a press. Uh, we have uh, we issued a press release and then we sent this press release to all the media outlets in Afghanistan. And based on that, uh, because you know the way we actually read, wrote this uh, uh, press release was also kind of alarming and it was kind of a news for them. So we uh, kind of enticed them, attracted them, and then they just contacted us and they wanted us to sit on their TV channel and they even you know, did some Skype calls and we were on television and, and, and that's how we reached to the mass media. Now, coming to the second question is that uh, I also believe in the outcomes and outcomes are part of the long term programs that you have it and uh, in, in short term we only have the results and and I believe that uh, the outcome takes a bit time since Afghanistan is new and uh, as 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 being a part of as being a coach here I have I have in, in the organization I have uh, shared this view that we should be we should hold some resource based view and we should focus more on the system. So once we have our system working well and established and everything rules regulation the framework uh, the, the frameworks and everything is much clearer to everybody and everybody agrees to that and we have the right people with ourselves then when you want to initiate anything we can go with it uh, smoothly. 
Yes, we have uh, done the advocacy work and one of the prime challenges since we are new was that how are we going to measure the impact of all the advocacy work that we do? So we we have been thinking over this and to do the research work, it also takes time and money. So we are figuring out ways of how we we are going to do. But since uh, there are limitations to us, so we design our work the way that is very cost effective uh, to us. Uh, as a part of uh, that, rightly you said, Celia, that uh, I have been now meeting with the, for example, we met with the uh, the, uh, the, the, the director general of the national programs and policies at the Ministry of Finance who signs all the developmental project with the donors uh, in Afghanistan and uh, he showed strong uh, commitment to support and even asked us to review and uh, do the budget analysis. Now this budget analysis is done once in every year or once in six months. Uh, uh, so we need to wait for another six months to go through the budget analysis with them and then we see Similarly, the Kandahar governor, he also pledged, the Herat governor has recently pledged that they will do their necessary support. So these kind of activities will take uh, time for us because we are new and we are we have focused more on our resources and on the system to be built up. So yeah. I hope that I good some I, I give some kind of insights of what we are doing at right at the moment. Thanks so thank a lot, so Saeed. Yeah, that was absolutely excellent. And I do uh, take note on so many elements in here. It's very rich. It, uh, it's just touch upon um, outcomes that are like can be short term, intermediate or longer term behavior change of media that is manifesting interesting interest in getting info from alliances is already kind of an important result that will lead possibly even larger impact. And I, I do take notes on the needs for more like a possibly a coordinated effort or a work in terms of finding out uh, how to assess impact of our campaign and advocacy. And this is something that we will be probably tackle also in the discussion during the next session uh, as well. I do see Mary's hands uh, raised. Just a note here to say that we have very soon to go back to the plenary in a minute or so. Uh, so I wonder if any one of you would like to just volunteer to do a quick recap to the plenary to share a little bit of some of the elements that came out from the presentation and some of the, the standing questions uh, that, that we have been discussing for so far. Um, uh, so before I give you the ball, Mary, for your last question, um, yeah, I think uh, I would like to hear if anyone would like just to share the highlights from this group and then of course others can complement if anything uh, is missing. Uh, who would like to uh, volunteer? It doesn't have to be anything like too much scientific, would be just to give a, just a recap of uh, the presentation we listened from and the, some of the elements we have been discussing together. Who would like to take um, a bit um, this um, this role? Anyone? I can hear a lot of silence. Um, anyone would like to take this opportunity to share it? Otherwise, I can do it for you. But I would really rather prefer to for people to listen to your voice. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, Cecilia. Uh, let let us talk. Uh, let us talk. Which specific topic that we need to talk about? And I think we can. There can be two people to discuss this point on uh, yeah. there, if it's okay yeah. with uh, with the with the with the uh, with the coordinators. Yeah, that's an excellent suggestion. Perhaps we can have uh, one minute, one person, just touching upon on some of the achievements that have been shared today from the three countries. Uh, for example, the excellent campaign uh, and uh, and the work at subnational level in in Laos and then uh, the Philippines uh, work as well um, in terms of uh, the breast milk substitutes and uh, I'm sorry, I was uh, thinking about Indonesia. Uh, I'm just confused there. Um, so a couple of highlights of the discussion we had. If you if you want, you can also focus on um, on the question we have been talking about. So expansion of membership, challenges in uh, funding, um, and use of social media, um, and advocacy outcomes. Okay, okay. 
So I'll talk about from the Afghanistan perspective and maybe someone, if, we, if they want to, they can also talk about from Yeah, it would be country. great to hear from a little bit uh, without repeating all the presentation to the entire group. Maybe a couple of highlights in terms of uh, the type of discussion we had today. And it can be even just on the latest um, uh, discussion we had in terms of st outstanding points in how to better measure our impact, you and guys all agreeing on, and the challenges in harnessing social media um, in collaboration with all members um, there. That was also another element, but also the opportunity, you know, utilizing social media to mobilize them, what was another one, and if I'm not mistaken. And um, yes, we are coming. I think Andy is calling us. So I think uh, if you guys uh, prefer, I can do it. But I would be great if you can then complement my presentation. Yeah? Uh, it's okay. I can do my part and I can talk about the advocacy on the membership and expansion and challenges. But maybe Philippines and Laos could explain about their achievement. Yeah, and better. keep in mind you have only just a few seconds. Um, okay, so if you can take the, you, uh, click on the link. Uh, in the chat box that is to go back to the plenary unless you have it already open in uh, in the uh, on the on your screen and you can go back there if you cannot click straight away just copy paste the link on a document and then access it again i'll see you in the other room uh please uh, do go uh, to the plenary now uh, i will stay here for a while to make sure that everyone is able to leave okay thank you cecilia thank you all it was an excellent discussion i really love it Thank you all. Um, if you have any difficulty in the moving to the plenary, let me know. I'm still here around. I can guide you. Said, I can see you still here. Is uh, please do click on the link in the chat box. And if the link uh, will uh, tell you to close this, um, you perhaps uh, please do copy the link on a document uh, so you don't uh, lose it. And then leave this uh, group and go back to the link with the plenary, clicking on the link you copied. Said, I can see still you here, Lagul. You st you're still here in this uh, room. Cecilia, how we we can go to plenary. Uh, the plenary? So the link uh, is uh, in uh, the chat box, Lagul. So if you click on the link on the chat box, you should be able to leave this room and go back to the plenary. If you so you sh you should so or the other option is to, to simply close this group and click on the link of the main event in your Outlook invite. Yeah. Lagul, are you still there? I, I cannot. I cannot go there. I don't know. I will. So, I will get the, my uh, my IT uh, service. No, no, no problem. Okay, uh, perfect. Yeah. My suggestion is yeah. to copy. My suggestion is to co copy from the chat box the link of the plenary, which is uh, the last uh, thing uh, Danish copied in the chat box. Oh, Danish. Yeah. If you copy this link and you save it on a document, then you can close this page and go to the... I see Patricia, you're still here. You should go back to the plenary now. Ah, okay. Yeah, bye. I'll close here. Bye.